I'm Sophia Vialba, your community reporter in Morro Bay. And if you're a regular visitor here, there's likely been a chance you've noticed this large dredge boat here over the years. I caught up with the boat's captain to learn more about what this piece of equipment does and the important role it plays in the harbor. With help from the Morro Bay Harbor Patrol, we took a ride out to the 200-foot Yaquina at the mouth of the harbor. 200 feet by 58, and then when the arms are out, it goes out to 70 feet. Since 1990, the vessel has been coming to Morro Bay to remove sand from the waterways, which allows for deeper pathways for boats to travel through. Right before they come in, um, we've had some issues with shoaling coming off the sand spit where boats have been getting um, trapped, where they've been getting stuck in the sand. The annual month-long trip to Morro Bay helps with safety. You don't notice it, but when you go out uh, of the bay, there's often large waves that come in, and by dredging it, it increases the depths and then decreases the amount of waves that come in. We're starting to get some sand, okay. so we're on bottom actively dredging at this point. Wow. Kamwella Johnson, assistant master with the Army Corps of Engineers, explains how the vessel sucks in the sand. All right, it comes up the arms, and we'll go inside the ship. We'll see the pumps. Yeah. Then it runs it straight up, just in front of this deck, shoot it forward, and then this is where it spills into our hopper. The ship can hold 90 dump trucks worth of material, which they fill up in about an hour. So every hour you have to come back out here and kind of... Yep, yeah, when we're full, like I said, we'll probably hit it here shortly. We'll go out, we'll dispose it, and we'll come back in. The dredging is done all day and all night long, and the sand they collect is deposited about two and a half miles south off the beach. Some of our disposals will help the jetties. You know, it's mainly beneficial. We all try and put it to a place that they've studied yeah. for beach replenishment or to help the biology in the area. The Aquina will be here until June 6th. In Morro Bay, Sophia Vialba, KSBY News.